welcome back to my channel Veronica Gant here today I am going to show you very interesting photography setup I did for my maternity session this time I wanted to do something very different so I hope I will be able to inspire you with this video before we start I want to share with you guys how I came up with this idea so before I become a newborn and maternity photographer, I was in fashion and beauty photography a lot in Slovakia. And I am still beauty and fashion photographer in my heart. My love for fashion and beauty photography influences my style for maternity sessions as well. So today I am going to share with you my little secrets about how I create this amazing, fashionable look and of course where I bought everything. Quick heads up, this video is not sponsored. Everything what you see in this video, and you will see, I bought with own money. The beautiful model was Marisa and her makeup was done by Cypress Gores, amazingly talented makeup artist in San Antonio. I want to thank both of them for their energy and their time they put into this session and helped me to execute this amazing look. So let's get started. I wanted to keep this look very soft and elegant. Cypress created this amazing sultry peach look and curled the hair for the beauty shots. For the gown, I bought 20 feet long tulle for $30 at Hobby Lobby. From this tulle, I created a skirt, and from rest of it, I cover it entire body. Beauty shots are part of my maternity sessions. Women have something incredible in their eyes during the pregnancy, and I love to capturing this mirror to their soul because you can see their joy about caring for a new life. For beauty shots, it's good to use small aperture to have the full face focus. My camera settings was 100 ISO and shutter speed of 125. This time I use my Canon 5D Mark III and the 100mm macro lens from the same brand. For my lighting setup, I used one LEMB's B800 with a silver beauty dish with diffuser, both by Palsy Buff. To add some sparkle to the image, I use beautifully handmade earrings made by Gwynish Jewelry. I will add the link to their store below to this video. I recommend to buy some extra tool to ensure you have enough to cover the body of the model. I struggled with it a little bit, but I had to make it work. Other than that, everything was more than perfect and I fixed everything I didn't like in post-process. For this particular shot, the camera settings were aperture 5.6, ISO 100 and 125 shutter speed. I use Canon 24-105mm lens and from the left upper angle was 60 inch a parabolic umbrella with diffuser, also from Paul C. Buff. To make this look more interesting, we used a giant pink peony, which I found on sale at Hobby Lobby for 50% off. The original price was $40, I was so lucky! To make model look much more taller, I used a wooden step stool from Join Fabric for just $17. I fell in love with pastel colors, but this time I chose hot pink color for my background. I didn't want just a simple flat color backdrop, so I create this V flats with the same color to create some dimension and depth in the image. I bought two 4x8 feet foam boards, each for $13 from Lowe's. The pink backdrop is 9 feet wide and it's from my local camera store. It cost $62. I used the paper from the backdrop to cover the V-flats. You will need stronger tape for this project.
you guys for watching this video and look below, I linked all products I use for this session. I would like to know what you think about this session guys. If you have any questions, ideas and comments, leave them below for me. And if you like the video, subscribe and push the ring bell so you will be notified every time when I publish new video. See you next time, bye! <laughs> Very interesting. Was by Dan. Oh, nikdy by som nepovedala, že toto budeme robiť v angličtine.